एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर फाइव दैट इज लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स सो स्टार्टिंग विद सेकेंड एक्सरसाइज दैट इज फाइव पॉइंट टू आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इज स्टेट द प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज यूज इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट सो पार्ट वन से इज इफ ए इज पैरल टू बी then angle 1 is equals to angle 5 that is this angle is equals to this angle so in this given is a is parallel to b and angle 1 is angle equals to angle 5 it means by corresponding angles so if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measures second part says if angle 4 is equals to angle 6 then a is parallel to b that is angle 4 is equals to angle 6 it means they are equal so given is angle 4 is equals to angle 6 then angle a is parallel to angle p by alternate interior angles so when we transfer cuts two line such that pair of alternate interior angles are equal the lines have to be parallel moving to our third part which says if angle 4 plus angle 5 plus 180 degree then a parallel to b so here it is given this by co interior angles when the transversal cut two lines such that pairs of interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary the lines have to be parallel moving to our second question which says in the adjoining figure identify first part says the pair of corresponding angles so this is the figure given to us we have to find the pair of corresponding angles so the pair of corresponding angles are angle 1 Angle five, that is one and five. Angle two and angle six. Angle four and angle eight. Angle three and angle seven. They are corresponding angles. Second part says a pair of alternate interior angles. So here, pair of alternate is angle three is equals to angle five and angle two is equals to angle eight. third part says the pair of interior angle on the same sides of a transversal so here angle 3 angle 8 and angle 2 and angle 5 the vertically opposite angle angle 1 and 3 that is this one 2 and 4 this one 6 and 8 this one 5 and 7 this one moving to our question number 3 which says in the adjoining figure p parallel to q find the unknown angles so this is the figure given to us we have to find angle e f a b c d and here 125 this angle is given so here p parallel q and cut by transversal line so therefore 125 degree plus e that is this one is equals to 180 that is by linear pair so therefore e is equal to 180 minus 125 which will give you 55 degree So here now E is equal to F. That is, this angle is equal to this because they are vertically opposite angles. So therefore, this is fifty-five. It means this will be also fifty-five. Further, moving to A is equal to F. That is, this is equal to this because alternate angles. Therefore, A plus B is equal to one eighty. It means this plus this is equal to one eighty. So from fifty-five plus B equals to one eighty, it will give you B as one twenty-five. So here B will come as one twenty-five. So now A is equal to C. That is, this is equal to this because they are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, B is equal to D as same. That is vertically opposite angle. So A, fifty-five, B, one twenty-five, C, fifty-five, D, one twenty-five, E, fifty-five, and F, fifty-five. Further, moving to question number four, which says find the value of x in each of the following figures if L is parallel to M. So here figure are given and L is parallel to M and here L is parallel to M. So first part says given L parallel to M and T is transversal line, therefore interior vertically opposite angle between the line L and T that is this and this is equal to one one zero degree. Therefore one one zero plus x is equal to one eighty degree that is by supplementary angles. So x is equal to seventy. Moving to our second part which says L parallel to M and T is a transversal line again. L is parallel to M and T is a transversal line. So here x plus two x is equal to one eighty. That is by interior opposite angles. Therefore our x will be sixty. Moving to our third part, which says given L parallel to M and A parallel to B. So here L and M are parallel and A and B are parallel. So x is equal to hundred degree. That is by corresponding angles. Fifth question says in the given figure the arms of a two angles are parallel. 
if triangle ABC is equal to 70 degree, then find first part says angle DGC. So here given is AB parallel to DE and BC is the transversal line. So angle ABC is equal to 70 degree. Therefore angle ABC is equal to angle DGC that is by corresponding angles. Therefore angle DGC is equal to 70 degree that will be our first equation. Second part says given BC parallel to EF and DE is the transversal line and angle DGC is 70. So here DGC is equals to angle DEF that is by corresponding angles. Therefore DEF is 70. Sixth question says in the given figure below decide whether L is parallel to M. So here the figure is given. So here 126 plus 44 is equal to 170. L is not parallel to M because sum of co angles should be 180 and here it is 170. Second part says 75 degree plus 75 degree is equals to 150 degree. So here also L is not parallel to M because sum of angles does not obey the property of parallel lines. Third part says 57 degree plus 123 degree is equals to 180 degree. Here L is parallel to M due to supplementary angles between the parallel lines. Fourth part says 98 degree plus 72 degree is equals to 170 degree. So here L is not parallel to M because sum of angle does not obey the property of parallel lines. So this is all from this exercise guys. If you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For regular updates and information, please subscribe to our channel Agla Same Schools. We wish you a safe life and do take care of yourself.